Hey everyone, back again another video to help you out. This time taking the steering wheel airbag out of a 2014 Volkswagen Passat. Um, this is done. Uh, I'm here in the in the junkyard um, taking this airbag out because I had to pull the steering column out. So I had to remove the airbag. Um, the only tools I use to remove the airbag is a flathead screwdriver and uh, you'll probably want to use a smaller, shorter one. Um, I took the whole column out already and did it from that perspective, um, so it'll be a little easier to show uh, how it works, but uh, doing it in your own vehicle, you'll obviously have the column still inside the car. So, uh, that, like I said, that being said, you'll probably need a short flathead screwdriver. But that's the uh, only tool I used. Anytime you're messing with airbags at home, in your driveway, or in a garage, you'll want to take the negative terminal off your battery, let it sit for probably 10 or 15 minutes to get any kind of excess charge off the system uh, in case your airbag has not gone off yet. Uh, and after that, uh, you'll want to come over here um, to your steering column. And I, again, I've already got this removed so I can show you what's going on here. You have these two spring clips here that uh, need to be operated from the back side of the steering column. You can come here and on the back side and see that there are these two slots here. You may need to remove the upper or lower clamshell off of this in order to access this. Um, but uh, with your steering wheel turned all the way once 90 degrees one way or the other, you can see back here that uh, you'll want to fit your flathead screwdriver in behind this metal clip in order to pry the spring op or closed, pinch it together enough to release the airbag on one side and then come around to the other side and you'll have the same idea here and that'll release the airbag from the wheel. Once that's done you'll have a giant plug here to remove. You'll have this uh, white safety clip that holds it in to keep it from falling out. Pop that up and you should be able to remove this. And then uh, this one has uh, controls on the column or on the steering wheel for uh, phone and all that. So you'll have this extra plug that uh, needs to be popped out of the wiring clip inside. Right here. So that's the gist of getting this airbag out. If you're replacing this at home, likely you'll need to replace the SRS module, the airbag control module. It's normally located under the center console on these. Um, that'll need to be replaced in most cases. Uh, I don't know if this is specifically for this one, but uh, when these airbags go off, a lot of times that module is used up and will need to be replaced in order to get rid of your airbag light. But if this helped you get your airbag out, drop a like down below. It takes a second. Subscribe for more videos. I do these to help people save time and money. Thanks for watching.